Hi, this is Ian Cole bringing you an IEQA tech tip on vapor barriers. No one wants to have condensation inside their walls, which can lead to mold growth. Condensation happens in walls where humid air reaches a cold surface. Through the years, vapor barriers have often been used to reduce this condensation inside walls. However, vapor barriers can also have unintended consequences. What's the big concern with vapor barriers? They reduce the wall's ability to dry. No matter what, walls will get wet, and therefore you need to promote their ability to dry. How ironic, the vapor barrier meant to prevent water in walls ends up slowing down the rate of drying, which can lead to a mold problem. A vapor barrier may be plastic sheeting, a foil facing, vinyl wallpaper, or a closed cell insulation product. It's important to note that house wraps or building paper, such as Tyvek, that's breathable and not considered a vapor barrier. If you're in a very cold climate, it may actually be beneficial to have a vapor barrier on the inside to prevent indoor humidity from reaching a cold inner wall in the wintertime. It may also be beneficial to have a vapor barrier if you're in a hot and humid climate. When placed on the exterior of the wall, a vapor barrier may prevent outdoor humidity from reaching a cold air-conditioned surface. In areas with both cold winters and humid summers, it's best to have a breathable wall without vapor barriers. Sure, you may get some condensation during extreme cold or humidity, but because the wall is breathable, it can dry quickly and mold problems are less likely. To learn more about vapor barriers, consider taking the two-part IAQA University class titled Managing Moisture. Visit the IAQA website for more information.